What's up everybody, it's your boy Saucy Shane. Welcome back to another whiskey review. Today we have Calumet 10 year in this pretty sexy blue label bottle. Coming in at 100 proof. We're not gonna waste much time with this. We're gonna pour it in a glass. It says on the website to let it breathe for 15 minutes. We're not gonna wait that long, but we are gonna let it get a little head start breathing. Can't find out much about it on the website. Pretty much what you find out is what's on the bottle. Like I said, it comes in at 100 proof. This is not part of the single rack black series, obviously, because it's in the blue bottle. I think their batches is 19 barrels. This one's 50 barrel batch blend. I don't know if any of them come in any older. With the color look of it, I'm not real sure. I mean, I know it's proof down to 100 proof. Who really knows? No, it's a guaranteed 10 year in that 50 barrel blend. The 16 year, I loved it. It come in number two on my top bourbons of the year last year, 2022. When I see in this 10 year, you don't see any, this may be the first and only review up when it comes out. I'm not real sure. Can't find out much about it. Like I said, everything you want to find out is on the label. On the back, of course, it tells about the story about the horse that it's been titled to, Bull Lee. We're not going to read all that. I'm going to try to keep these reviews short and sweet. 100 proof, got the mash bill down here written real fine and cursive. 74% corn, 18% rye and 8% malted barley. So they're semi-high rye mash bill. I'm gonna compare it later on in the video to another one of my favorite 10 year bourbons. It's also another high rye mash bill. And I can't wait to add this later on down the road in the classic 10 year blind matchups with Henry McKenna, Eagle Rare, Rebel Yell, all those. Can't wait to do that. Didn't really, didn't really wanna compare it to a single barrel right now, so. Could have put Eagle Rare up in there, but I figured I would throw it up against one of my favorite high rye mash bill 10 year aged in bourbons. So we're gonna give it a little swirl, let it hit the glass a little bit. You will notice it is light in color, almost like a, a new sap color, like I like to say, a fine amber. Not really clinging to the glass too much. It's got, you know, a little bit of leg to it. Not not too, not too crazy. I did try this a few nights ago and I knew right off the bat, I wasn't real impressed, but as it opened up in the glass, it started having a little bit more characteristics of a good well-aged bourbon. So I give it a few days sitting there and uh, now it's time to do a proper review. So we're going to do that now and get it on the nose. The nose right off the rip, a lot sweeter than I remember. Now I am coming off of a cold. You can kind of tell the raspiness in my voice. When I first got this, I was right in the middle of that battle in that cold. And I, that may have had something to do with it. The raspy and my, my throat being scratchy, my sinuses messing with me. I couldn't smell nothing. Right now, it's extremely sweet on the nose, getting a lot of caramels, classic vanillas. A touch of leather, some toffee. A lot of strong toffee note coming out of here. Almost a root beer. Ooh. As I say that, that's strong root beer. Almost cream soda like. Ooh. I definitely don't remember that. That cold must have been playing a factor in that the night I first tried that. So, like I say, we don't just smell it around here, we taste it. Let's get this on the palate, y'all. Cheers. First sip of the day, I am glad I waited and didn't just explode bad things about this because I, at first I really didn't like it. First sip, you're getting that, every bit of that 18% of that rye in the mash bill. Let's get another sip on it. A lot of those notes on the nose does come through on the palate. Wow, that has just that little bit has opened up very nicely in that bottle. Very good mouthfeel. Hits me in the back of the tonsils there with a little bit of that toffee leather note. Almost a hint of tobacco. I'm not really getting the root beer that I was getting on the nose. 
on the palate, but man, it is strong on the nose. Ooh, if you say it and smell it, man, that, that's strong. But it don't translate to the palate. That's got a nice ride of flavors. A nice, decent experience of flavors for 100 proof. And you would expect it, it's around 70, 75, $80 for this MSRP, depending on where you're at, depending on where you're, what your liquor stores are like. Very good. But what we're going to do now is I'm going to, well, what we're going to do now, we're actually going to rate this bad boy. And I'm going to pour a little bit more in the glass and then we're going to compare it to my other one. We'll take one more sip and let me rank this bad boy. When you first sip it, it kind of reminds me of an Eagle Rare with that sweetness. It almost gets wants to go a little bit tannic oak, but not really. That's an enjoyable, enjoyable pour. I'm very impressed with it, especially after the first pour I had of it. I was really, really let down. I was like, man, I can't believe that it's not good. But shocker. It's, it's, it's fooled me. It's actually really, really good, really sweet. It's got a lot of nice balance of the oak. Very, very good nose, but you really want to, you want the flavors to come through. So I'm going to rank this pretty solid pour. It's a 7.8. But next, let's pour it up against my next 10 year battle. All right, so we got a little bit more poured in the glass of this Calumet 10 year that received a score of 7.8. What we're going to try it up against is this Heaven's Door 10 year. I know it's hard to see with this lighting. I'm going to fix that one day. The bottles don't do it no justice either. I love Heaven's Door. I'm a Heaven's Door fanboy. That's a, that's a pretty heavy pour. This also comes in at 100 proof. And it says on the side, with over 20% rye in the mash bill and non-charcoal mellow, this bourbon is unlike anything you've ever had from Tennessee before. And it is very good. A lot darker in color. You can tell right off the rip. Even if you look at the bottles. You can see that. I know I can. Sitting back here. I can see it. We'll give this a little. little time to acclimate. Get some air time. This one has surprised me a lot. I can't get over that root beer nose. If you've had this calumet 10 year before leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think if you get that root beer note if you liked it if you didn't like it whatever if you like these kind of videos smash that thumbs up subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notification that way you don't miss a single video when i upload them i got a lot of things cram packed for this year i'm trying to roll them out at least one video a week maybe i'm trying to get two or three out but just to try to catch up this one i had to review because i think i may be the first and only one right now. I know Chad and Sarah from It's Bourbon Night just picked up one on their Louisville bourbon haul. I just seen on a video about a week ago. So stay tuned for a video from them. I can't wait to see what they think about it. But we're going to get this little heaven's door on the nose real quick and get a little comparison here. I mean, right off the rip, I enjoy this. As you can tell. And I, I love Dickel. Dickel whiskey. A lot of people say this ain't Dickel. I think the 10 year is. I know our bar our barrel pick from Heaven's Door wasn't Dickel. I think this one is. But still. Very delicious. I think on the nose, side by side, the Calumet 10 wins on the nose with that root beer note, that sweet, soft vanilla caramel note. It hits. Let's put this Heaven's Door on the palate. Hundred percent dickel. It's got a little bit more punch to it. A little. It's got a decent finish on the back end of flavor. That's a close comparison. They're different in their own ways. They're both unique. 
man, I hate to say this, but I got to go with that Cali in the 10-year. That's crazy. I know when this came out, it was around $90, $100. It's got a lot of good flavors. Both of these got me smacking. I sound disgusting over here smacking, but it's it's got me salivating. It's, it, they're delicious. I think if I was at a bar and I wanted one more pour or something else, I'd go with the Calumet 10. But like I said, you could give or take either one of them. They're very good. But guys, I'll leave y'all to it. Why don't we just blend these two? And I'll cheers y'all out. I want to thank every one of y'all for watching. I couldn't do this without y'all. Every one of the comments, the thumbs up, the views, my heart explodes. I couldn't do it without y'all. This may be a heck of a blend. Hmm. Ooh, I may have to toy with that a little bit later. But guys, I love y'all. Remember to stay safe out there. And until next time, stay saucy, but don't get too saucy. Drink responsibly and share with friends. Cheers. I love y'all. Eight point five.